how to deal with dizziness. If you have ever battled with dizziness, then you know how badly it can affect your quality of life. If that sounds familiar, then you are in the right place. I am going to be giving you proven solutions to helping you combat dizziness once and for all in today's video. Let's dive on in. Hi, I'm Dr. Kelly Shockley, doctor of cause, chiropractic, board certified in sports medicine, and specialized in clinical nutrition. In this video, we're going to be going over the best approach for resolving dizziness that nobody seems to focus on. Then we'll be going over the little known warning signals your body may also be giving you to tell you that something's wrong. Dizziness is not the only sign your body's going to give you. Next, I'll be sharing with you some proven natural remedies that will have you feeling grounded in moments. And finally, I will be sharing with you the key to eliminating your dizziness once and for all, yet the medical world seems to ignore this. Let's get started. What is the best approach for resolving dizziness that nobody seems to be focusing on? It's actually getting to the root underlying cause of why you're dizzy in the first place. Now, here's the thing. Dizziness is associated with so many different health conditions. And all of those health conditions are treated in different ways. And ultimately, those health conditions are the result of different scenarios as well. So if all we're doing is focusing on addressing dizziness, but we're not trying to understand why you are feeling dizzy, what other health issues might be happening that could be creating this symptom of dizziness, then you're never going to have full resolution of the dizziness. Some of the common underlying health challenges that actually can create the symptom of dizziness are things like having vertigo. Obviously, we know that the room spins around different than like feeling out of balance, though. It could be the result of a head injury. Um, inner ear issues are definitely a factor that can create dizziness and imbalance, dizziness and balance issues. A viral infection. There's something known as Meniere's disease, which actually affects the ear itself, but other viral infections could have you feeling dizzy too. And stress could ultimately be having you feel dizzy. Something that isn't as health related as far as a condition goes, but more lifestyle related is how often are you eating and what are you eating? Maybe you're somebody who has issues towards low blood sugar, where you need to eat more good fats at your meals to get more lasting power with them. Or maybe you need to eat meals more frequently to help balance your blood sugar levels. There are different nutrient imbalances and deficiencies that could be partly related to this. One of the common ones is a deficiency in B12. There are a multitude of medications that have dizziness as one of its side effects. So if you didn't have dizziness, but you recently were on a medication and now are experiencing dizziness, you should probably look up the side effects associated with the medication just to see if maybe that's part where it's coming from. Autoimmune types of conditions can also create dizziness and even issues with like dementia or Alzheimer's or other brain health related types of problems. So you see, those are several different kinds of health issues, which all come about for different reasons and definitely would be managed or dealt with to try to eliminate in different manners. So again, you can't focus on the symptom. You have to focus on what is the cause of the dizziness. Did you know that any of those factors could be part of why you're actually feeling dizzy? I'm really curious to know your thoughts on this. Drop them down in the comments below. Now we're going to get into the little known warning signals that your body may be giving you before you ever even feel dizzy. We have the obvious feeling of dizzy, right? Or like, feeling like your surroundings are moving around you, or maybe you feel like you're moving around. Something about your equilibrium is totally off. But we have some other symptoms that can also come about before you end up feeling dizzy or in um, complement to feeling dizzy. Feeling lightheaded or just feeling kind of unsteady on your feet is another way that this could present. Nausea oftentimes can be paired with feelings of dizziness, even sometimes to the point that people have indigestion and or vomiting that results. Something you may have noticed is maybe a shaking in your hands or um, your feet. You could feel like you're going to drop something that you were holding in your hand. Sometimes your vision gets affected as well. So um, at times you can feel like 
objects appear smaller than what they actually should be that are in the distance. Oftentimes you, there are like, if something bad is going to happen, people feel the, let me say it this way, a feeling of dread or fear can also accompany dizziness or lightheadedness. If something bad might actually be happening, you know, people, when something more traumatic could be occurring or about to occur with their health, they can get this impending sense of doom. And that oftentimes is associated with dizziness as well. People at times with dizziness lose all sense of control of their muscles. So they can end up collapsing to the ground, not because they passed out, but because their muscles gave up on them. Or you can get involuntary kinds of jerking through the muscular system as well. Sometimes people actually have hallucinations or are hearing voices associated with the dizziness factor too. So you can see there's a lot of other ways your body could be telling you that there's a problem that's either brewing or that something else is going on with your health, not just the dizziness. So it's really important to understand again why you end up feeling dizzy. Now, before I get into some of the proven natural remedies that will have you feeling grounded within moments, I just wanted to take a second to remind you to click that subscribe button down below, turn the notifications on, that way you don't miss out on a future episode. I am regularly producing content around how to improve brain health, immune health, cardiovascular health, anything and everything you want to know to help take back control of your health so that you can achieve what I like to call total body mastery. So just click the subscribe button, turn the notifications on, and you will be set. Awesome. Now, what are those proven natural remedies that can help you feel grounded within moments? Let's get into them. We've got some that are more herbs and we've got some nutrients in here. So we're going to go over the herbs first. The first one would be ginger. Okay. Ginger is actually really good if somebody's had surgery and they're feeling dizzy as a result of coming back out of the anesthesia and just all the medication that's been pumped into their system. Ginger has been really effective for reducing that dizziness. It also works for motion sickness and nausea and morning sickness too, and is safe to be using while pregnant because it's food. So ginger has had centuries and centuries worth of use for dizziness. So try that if you have not tried ginger yet before for dizziness. The next one is chamomile, German specifically, German chamomile. It's actually well known as one of the most effective herbs for dealing with motion sickness. You can also use it to soothe your nerves and to calm your stomach too. Sometimes that's part of where dizziness is coming from is the stress. Then one that's been known um, a very long time for dealing with vertigo type of dizziness is skullcap. It's also known to help relieve stress and tension, anxiety. <clears throat> it has a very calming sense over the whole nervous system. It's also been used as a pan pain reliever and an antidepressant too. So if you haven't tried skullcap, that's something you might be able to implement and see how it benefits. Now there's three nutrients that I'd like to share with you as well that could totally help with reducing your dizziness. The first one is vitamin B2. This one's really important for proper formation of our red blood cells, and it has a lot of research showing that it's effective for treating vertigo. Magnesium would be next on my list. It is well known for dizziness that comes from um, different like viral infections, Meniere's, anything with the ear. Magnesium is very relaxing to the muscular system. So within the internal components of the ear, it can help allow that to function more properly. It also helps with dizziness that comes from ear infections. And then if it's more stress related, it's going to help calm the nervous system, calm the muscular system, and could really reduce the dizziness as well. Another bonus with magnesium is it's critically important for heart function and people who have high blood pressure do well with adding uh, magnesium in. So if part of the dizziness is coming as a result of blood pressure problems, magnesium is something that's totally safe to use and it can be very effective for actually helping lower blood pressure and then indirectly decreasing the dizziness that comes from that. The last nutrient is B12. B12 is essential for maintaining the health and integrity of your red blood cells, but also your nerves. Different types of anemia are associated with B12, and when you are anemic, that is another underlying issue that could be causing dizziness as well. 
And then just maintaining proper nervous system integrity. If your nervous system is not functioning correctly, how it's inputting its information of where you are in space and how is your, like, where are you related to other objects can get murky as well. So B12 would be another safe vitamin that you could try and get some benefit from your dizziness. And now the key for eliminating dizziness once and for all, it's to know, really know what's actually causing it. And the way that you do this is through testing, proper testing. If you're not testing, you're guessing. What I just shared with you is a good solid approach for trying to help with dizziness, but because I don't know specifically what's causing your dizziness, I don't know the best plan forward to really help you eliminate it once and for all. And when we're just throwing, you know, some remedies here and some nutrients there, we're still focused in on the dizziness as I was talking about in the beginning, which is the result of something else that's happening in the system. We don't want to do symptom based care. We want to do cause based care. The real way to determine the cause is to be able to test your whole entire health and really determine where are the imbalances, where are the deficiencies, is there a low-level infection, you know, is it inflammation, is there an underlying toxicity issue, and so on. And you can't really understand and reverse the process unless you can obtain that information. If you're sitting there going like, okay, how in the world do I do that? I have it all detailed out for you. I'm not going to get into that today because that might be a little bit longer than you want to hang out for, but I have it detailed out. Just click down in the description below so it opens up and go in there and claim your free copy of my ebook from sluggish to unstoppable. In this book, I tell you all of the answers to those questions and lay it out. I, it shares the framework that I use with my patients, which is the key to everything that I do. So click the link down below to claim your copy of From Sluggish to Unstoppable and stop feeling dizzy once and for all. I hope that this was helpful. I appreciate you being here and I can't wait to see you on the next episode. Take care.